Hello there. Hope you are doing well. My name is Chinmay and in this short video we will explore an amazing tool in LibreOffice Writer called the Navigator. This tool can provide exceptional functionality to navigate large documents, move around blocks of text and even reuse text from other documents. I've created this document with some dummy text specially for this tutorial. This 19-page document has section numbers, figures, tables, footnotes, references, in short pretty much everything that a document can have. So let's start by first having a quick look at this document and then using the navigator tool. So this document has text, headings are numbered and styled as you can see, all major headings have been given the styling of heading 1. Figures are captioned. Uh, the next major heading is given again a styling of heading 1. Any subheadings underneath a major heading, they have been styled as heading 2. It's very important that you style your documents. In case if you are new to styling, I have done two videos on styling and I have given the links to those videos in the description below. You can follow them. So I have put in a few footnotes here. Then there are tables. If you have sent this document to somebody else, they might write in a few comments or you might write some comments yourself to revisit the document and improve something. So I have included a couple of comments here in this sample document. The text, by the way, is completely random. It has some clip art. So this is the structure of the document. Uh, if we can just simply go to view and print view, we can see this document in a more synoptic view. So this is how the document looks like. So one important thing that I want to mention here is that it is important to use styling on headings to make full use of the functionality that the navigator tool provides. If your text is styled, you can then move blocks of text and that can help you reorganize your documents through the navigator tool. One other quick mention that starting from one heading and to the other heading, everything in between these two headings is treated as one single block of text. So this is all one block of text from two right down to all that figures, tables, everything, headings, subheadings, treated as one single block of text. So let us start the navigator tool. Uh, we can start the navigator tool in three ways. The first of these ways is you can just come here to this side and just go ahead and click on this navigator icon. So you get your navigator available here on the right pane. And you can see a lot of different things here. We'll come to that in a second. The second way in which you can start the Navigator tool is to go to View and click on Navigator. The Navigator tool now starts in the left pane. And this is the way I prefer it because I can come onto my right pane and use it for something different. For example, reveal the styling of the document. So I have my navigator document and also styles visible at the same time. So this is the way I prefer it. Go to view and navigator. And you will also notice there is a function key here F5. So you can start this by using the function F5 on your keyboard. Once you've started the navigator tool, you have access to everything inside this document. You have access to figures, you have access to hyperlinks, references. And what this means basically is that you can reach any of these sections directly. So say for example, if we can go to the top of this document, and I wanted to go ahead and have a look at the fourth chapter, Adaptation. So I'll just have to come here and double click on it, and I directly reach the fourth chapter. All my headings are showing here. If I expand chapter 2, you will see subheadings under chapter 2. Chapter 1 does not have any subheading, so there's no 
button to expand section 1. Likewise, chapter 3 has some subheadings. So when I expand that, I can see those subheadings. I can reach a particular subheading directly by just simply going ahead and double clicking on it. So I reach that place directly and I can come back to the top of the document. So all sections of text, all blocks of text, you can directly reach using the navigator uh, tool. Imagine if this was a 200 page document, the sheer convenience of reaching every section of your document just simply by going ahead and double clicking on it is just simply fantastic. You can of course go and reach any particular page. So say for example, I wanted to reach page number eight, I can just come here and type page number eight in the box and enter. So I can directly reach the top of page number eight, as you can see here. If I wanted to go to page number one, I can then just simply enter one and press enter and I will reach the top of page number one. Um, if you come on headings, right click and you can then just simply come and collapse or expand. So if I was to come and collapse all categories, everything becomes collapsed and then I can just simply have a look at the headings and everything else is concealed. What I can also do is I can come here and click on headings and then I can use these arrow keys to circulate within headings. So if I just click on this down arrow, I move to heading number two, then I move to heading number three, and then I will move through other headings. And as you can see, this uh, highlight is going and moving forward. So I can come to four and then the other subheadings of four. So I can just keep circulating uh, from one heading to the other heading, going through my document, making a quick check whether everything is in order. And then I can just double click on the first heading and come back again onto the first heading. Now this is possible because I have styled this text. Had I not styled this text and just simply uh, not given it heading one or heading two, etc., um, there would be nothing here under headings because this is available only through styling. So it's always better to style your text such that you can have all this available under headings and then you can directly move on to uh, any heading that you want. Just a quick mention, this little H icon here has a drop down. So if you click on it, it tells you the levels of headings that are being shown here. So currently this document has only two levels of heading. But suppose if I had subheadings under 2.3, say 2.3.1, then those subheadings would not be visible if I had just clicked here on one. So now I can not even see the second level headings. So come here and click on two. Now you can see second level headings. If there were third level headings, they would not be visible. So a good safe setting if you wanted to see all the headings is to just come to this drop down and click on 10. So all possible levels of headings will actually be revealed. If on the other hand, you don't want to see all that detail, you can come here and click on one and then you just simply see only major chapter numbers. You can move from one to the other and so on and so forth. And you have some level of detail masked out. My recommendation is you can come here to H and keep this to 10 such that all headings are revealed. The same thing applies to tables. You can just simply come here and expand tables. So this document has three tables. I can just simply go to table number one, then hop on to table number two, hop on to table number three. I can do the same as I did with headings, drop down, come here and pick up tables. And then I can just simply use these arrow keys to circulate between tables. So I've started with table number one, moving on to table number two, moving on to table number three. I press the down arrow key again, so I will be able to see table number one again because it will just keep circulating between the total number of tables. So I can do that using these 
arrow keys by choosing table in this particular drop down. The same I can do with images. One important point that I would like to mention here is that um, the titles that you see under tables or under images or figures, they have nothing to do with how you have captioned them. They are numbered on the basis of the sequence in which they were entered. So say for example, if I was to come here and introduce another table, the numbering or the caption of that table would be proper. So this would become table four and that table would become table three. But in this sequence of tables here in the navigator window, this particular table, that is table number three, would actually be shown as table number three and the new table will be shown as table number four. So if you're not comfortable with that, you can always right click and rename it in certain sequence or any sequence that you prefer. You can give it a name and correct that particular sequence. Uh, the same applies to images. Let me just right click and collapse all categories and then just open the images part. And so you can circulate between images in your text uh, from one image to the other image to the other image. As you can see, this order is disturbed. For example, image one is figure four. So this was probably the first image that I had entered. And then subsequently I entered this image on top of it. And then this image uh, was entered last. And then this image was entered third. So as I was actually uh, creating this document, I have entered images maybe not in sequence. So that is why they are appearing here. So if I'm not happy with this, I can always right click and rename this as say figure one as I work along. Under normal circumstances, uh, this would be in proper order mostly, but if not, then you can always come here and change it to something different. And I'm just going to rename this as figure two. So this will be, instead of image, it will now be figure. And I can reach this place. And I can see this is figure number three. So I'm just going to come here and say that this is figure number three and so on and so forth. So now if I want to reach figure number three, I can directly go there, figure number two. So these names are now relating to the captions, but they are uh, by default, just simply uh, the sequence in which the images have been entered. Most of the time they are, um, they are the same, but if in uh, some cases the sequence is different, you can always rename uh, that particular image and bring it in proper sequence. There's something called as frames also. So if you expand it, you will see that this is pertaining to figures itself. So frame number four is this. What a frame basically means is this image, if you click on this image, you will find that the image is selected. And this is the caption. So a frame is a container that has the image and the caption. So it is referring to this, uh, the, the figure itself but it is then, uh, you know, basically a container object for the picture as well as the caption. So it means the same thing practically. Uh, you can reach any particular figure using frames or images. Likewise, hyperlinks, if your document, let me collapse all categories and expand the hyperlink part. If your, uh, your document has hyperlinks, you can reach a hyperlink. So I have three hyperlinks in this document, double click on it. This is my first and then you can press control and then test whether this hyperlink has been correctly entered. You can go to the next hyperlink, press control and click on it and see if it has been correctly entered. So you can reach hyperlinks and also references. If you have references, click on a reference you can directly reach that particular reference. So you have complete control. If you are wanting to go to comments, you can come here and click on the first comment and see the comment itself. And then maybe, uh, you know, kind of click on this and deal with it, resolve it, etc. So the same applies here also. If you just want to uh, circulate just between comments, you can come here and click on comment 
and then just simply keep moving between comments. So this is comment number one, comment number two. There are just two comments, so it will just keep circulating, going back to comment number one. So this is the great functionality that the Navigator tool provides you. You can traverse a very large document very, very precisely, make checks, change. Now, one other convenience is that let us say, for example, I'm here. Let me go to the um, adaptation section and let us say the livelihood section. And so I wanted to enter reference to some other section here. So, what I can do is I can just simply say, for example, I wanted people to refer to the livestock section here at this particular point. So what I can do is I can just simply drag and drop it here. And so a hyperlink will be created. Before I actually do that, I just want to mention here that the behavior of the drag and drop is controlled by this drop down here. And by default, it is set to insert hyperlink. Uh, you can change it to insert to link and insert to copy. I will show that to you in a little while. But currently it is set to insert as hyperlink. That is the default. So as you pick up any section and drop it here, it just immediately creates a hyperlink to that section. And you can just immediately refer the reader to a previous section. So when somebody is coming here, they can just press control and click on it and they are taken back to that particular section. So you can add a hyperlink at various places in this document um, just simply by dragging and dropping uh, something from here. Just drag and drop it here and a hyperlink can actually be directly created. A hyperlink is being created by this drag and drop because the default behavior of drag and drop at this time is insert hyperlink. Now let's have a look at some other major functionality that the Navigator tool provides. And that functionality is for you to reorganize your document, uh, move blocks of text if you're not happy uh, to a different location, maybe even bring in text from another document inside this document. If you want to reuse text, you can bring in text from another document inside this particular document. So let's have a quick look at that. If I can just expand the headings here, uh, you will see all the headings expanded. Uh, you can right click and expand all so that every heading and subheading is visible to you. Now, uh, let us say if I reach the top of this document, I'm starting my document with the chapter climate migration. Then the second chapter is climate change impacts. The third chapter is impacts on biodiversity. So if for some reason I have decided now after writing my document that I should actually start with climate change impacts rather than climate change migration, then I can just come onto this heading, right click and just simply choose promote chapter. So when I click on this promote chapter, uh, it is moved to the first location and the numbering has changed. So my document now starts with the, the climate change impacts in the three continents and then moves on to climate migration. If I decide that I will like to discuss impacts on biodiversity before uh, talking about climate migration, so just simply come here and promote this chapter. So impacts on biodiversity are now above climate migration. If I want to demote this chapter, I can just come here and just simply come here and say demote chapter. So it is again under climate migration. I can come here to the first chapter, which is climate change impacts. I can right click and uh, demote the chapter as well. I can always also just catch hold of it and drag and drop, but if I wanted to use that functionality, I will have to just come and click on this particular button right here, make it blue, and then just simply use drag and drop and move these sections as well. But my personal favorite is just simply right clicking 
and promoting or demoting a chapter. So you can move entire blocks of text, right click and promote a chapter. So the whole block of text moves up, the figure numbers change, the, uh, the section numbers change. Just imagine the convenience of reorganizing your sections in a large document by simply coming here. Say, for example, if I reach this third section and I find that uh, there are two subheadings, animals and plants, and I want to start by plants. So I'll just come here, click on plants, right click, and just press promote chapter. So now plants is on top of animals. And the figure numbers have been appropriately renumbered, table numbers renumbered. So just imagine the sheer convenience of reorganizing your document after you have created that document moving chapters around. So that is just tremendous. So likewise, if I'm in this section, I have three um, subheadings here. Let us say, for example, for some odd reason, if I wanted to have this heading under this heading, I can come to this heading and then come here and say promote a level or demote a level. So I will just demote it by one level. And now what you are seeing here is that Americas are a heading under Asia. And if I click here, you will see that this is heading level number three. I can always right click and promote the level and so it is back at the level of Asia. So you can not only promote and demote chapters, that is move blocks of text, you can also bring certain sections under certain other sections just simply by demoting their level or promoting their level. Now, uh, one other important thing is that suppose I want to add a new chapter and that chapter is on climate action so i have after i have done this document i realize that my document is incomplete i haven't given anything on climate action and would like to add a new chapter at the end of this current document so i reach the end of the current document right here and i could have always you know kind of just come here and double clicked on it to reach the end of this document now I want to add another section, so of course I can type it, but I suddenly remember that I have already done this in another document and I can just simply bring in that text. So one of the ways is, and I have this document right here. So this is that document. I have climate actions written here already. It has a table, it has a figure. Notice that the numbering is specific to this document and it is 1, 1.1, 1.2. Let us open the navigator for this document as well. So view and click on navigator and right click collapse all categories and just simply have a look at this particular thing here. I've clicked on this button and then expanded everything. So you will notice that all the headings in this document are now seen in this uh, navigator window. And the thing is, I want to take this text. So of course, one option is I can just select everything and copy and go to that document and paste it. So a better option for me would be to go to this link drag mode and click on it. And I have now two options. I don't want to insert this as a hyperlink. Of course, I can. And when somebody presses that hyperlink in the other document, this document will get opened. But my effort here is to actually copy this. So I will just come and change this to copy. And then I'm just going to take this and drag it. And open my other document. And then just simply come here and drop it. So what has happened is, that all the matter from the climate action document has now been transferred into my original document and renumbered accordingly. All figures have also been renumbered as per this document. Remember that in the previous document, this was uh, number one and this was number 1.1. So this is one way of uh, working. 
Uh, you will see that this is being shown inside lines. So when you are bringing text from another document into any document, it is actually inserted here as a section. When you print this document or create a PDF, these lines will not appear there. But if you are uncomfortable with uh, these lines, you can always click inside this section, go to format, go to section, and then just simply remove. So when you press OK, these lines will disappear. And this integration is absolutely complete. And you can then edit this right here as per your uh, convenience. Anything that you want to add, delete can actually happen. Let us see another mode. Sometimes the way I have shown you dragging and dropping might be inconvenient. So what you can do is you can actually see both these documents uh, in Windows. Just grab hold of your first window and I'll just dump it onto the, the left edge. And then your second window, just grab hold of it from the bar and right. So you can see your second window. And now because both these documents are in view, you can just grab hold of this and bring it and drop it on your last page. Okay. So when you do this, you can see that this has arrived exactly in the same manner. You don't have to actually take it to the taskbar and uh, search for your document. You can directly insert it um, in this particular fashion. So this is, uh, this is one way of copying and uh, moving things through navigator of one document to the other document. Let me show you one other mechanism of this movement and that is by linking the document. So if we can just go back to the other document. Now the second choice I can make here is I can come here and choose this and change the behavior of the drag and drop to insert a link. So when I click on this, I have changed the behavior and I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. Bring both my windows in view. So now I can see both my documents. I have changed the behavior of uh, this drag and drop to insert link. Earlier it was insert copy. And so now I'm going to just grab hold of this and take it and drop it here in this document. Uh, let us head to the original document and so you you are going to see here the exact same thing happening and the the text has been transferred right here but the difference is that it is now linked to that document so the thing is you cannot make any changes in this document in which the text has been transferred when you say for example you want to come here and say delete this word it will just come and tell you that it is right protected content and it cannot be changed. So if you want to make any changes, you have to go to your original document and make those changes. Because this part is linked to that document. So let us go back to the original document. Uh, that is the climate actions document. And make some changes here. Let us say for example, I am adding initiating climate actions. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Um, if I go back to my other document, um, you will see that this change has not been reflected here because it is not dynamically linked. But if you were to go to tools and go to update and click on update all, you will immediately see that change reflected here. If I come here and try to make that change directly, in this document, it will come and tell you that it is right protected. If you close this document after saving and start this document again, the moment you start this document, uh, because portions of this document are linked with another document, you will get a small message saying that portions of this document are linked to the other document. Would you like to update them? And if you press yes, you will have the current version of the other document right here. When you're moving, you can use this drag and drop mode and change its behavior uh, from insert link 
the default is insert hyperlink you can change it to copy so you can bring in and reuse text from another document and uh, you can also choose to insert a link where certain portions of what you copy are connected to the other document if that other document changes they will be reflected here either uh, save and close the current document reopen it to reflect all the changes or otherwise just simply go to tools update and update all so um, this is in nutshell some of the features of the navigator it's a great tool try to make use of it um, before i uh, finish this uh, video i just want to give a quick tip if you want to go to any particular page uh, you can do that quite easily uh, this is the status bar and the first entry on the leftmost side of the status bar is giving you information about pages so this document has 21 pages and we are currently on the 18 page if you were to just hover your mouse on this uh, entry and click on it you get a small box and you can type in any page number and then just simply go to that particular page number so just click here on this and then uh, just simply type in the page this is independent of the navigator of course you can have the same behavior from this little box if you are using the navigator so you can just type enter and reach page number 21 it goes to the top of that particular page so this is a great tool so i hope this video was useful and i hope you can make use of the navigator more often thanks a lot for watching